It's cold, it's windy, it's gloomy and gray. I would not expect to start a hike on Springer Mountain in any other way. Here at the start of the Benton Mackay Trail, as you can see right there behind me, the monument to the man that helped propose the idea for the AT. And the start of the AT is actually just right up the trail. Obviously I had to visit that this morning. Talked to some up and coming through hikers, some 2021 AT through hikers, and see that monument that I've seen so many times, but it's really nice to be standing at my own monument for my own trail. 290 miles, I'm gonna to try to do it in 12 days. Here we go. It's so good to be back in these mountains again. So it's about two o'clock and I am 15 miles in for the day. So I decided to stop and take a late lunch. Took a late one today since I didn't get started until nine anyways. And just cause I was feeling good, feeling groovy. Really nice, beautiful um, stream or river right here. Flows under this really cool suspension bridge. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to film a lot of the suspension bridge cause there was a bunch of different people on it. Um, one way traffic. So I had to hurry up and get across it. But it's really, really nice trail so far. I'm pretty surprised. It's tough, there's definitely some tough climbs, but overall, it's pretty killer. I'm gonna do about another seven miles for the day, and I think that'll put me at a 23 mile day and a decent camp spot, so. All right, so I ended up doing 23 miles today. Not too shabby for the first day on a trail, especially out here in the Appalachians. The BMT is definitely tough. It is like a mini AT, um, a lot of similar climbs. Super steep, no switchbacks, but overall I feel pretty good. I'm a little sore, a little wore out, especially since it's the first day on the trail but I feel pretty good. I got to this uh, campsite here at mile 23, like 0.1, just in time to set up my tent, run down and get some water and make some dinner before it got pitch black. And now it's not only really dark outside, but it's also getting really cold. I think tonight and tomorrow are supposed to be pretty chilly. And then it's supposed to warm up quite a bit, actually. Um, I think like get into the high 60s. So I'm definitely in for a chilly night tonight, but that's all right. I, uh, I think I got enough to keep me warm. <sighs> Tomorrow, um, I think in 13 miles, there's a little convenience store or a restaurant cafe called the Iron Bridge Cafe. So I definitely plan to stop in there as long as they're open and get a little snack. I never pass up a restaurant or a convenience store. All right, I'm going to listen to a podcast, do a little bit of stretching, roll my feet out with my little cork ball, and get some sleep. Night.
So I haven't really felt like filming a lot today because it's been chilly, windy, and brutal. The last 15 miles have just been some of the hardest climbs I think that I've done in years. The section of the Bent Mackay Trail going through Georgia is definitely tough. But I just got here to the Iron Bridge Cafe, went inside, had myself a quick bite to eat, grabbed a little few extra snacks, and I um, guess I'm about to start a little road walk, like a three mile road walk. I'm gonna try to put in another nine miles for the day, and it should end up being 25 miles, which will add a mile to yesterday, kind of making my goal of 24 miles a day first chunk of the trail is definitely whooping me. Trying to do 20 something miles a day right out of the gate in Georgia in the Appalachians is tough. Tough. But um, it's what I signed up for. It's what I wanted. So that's what I'm doing. 